fellow viewers, uh, welcome to another edition of the Sunday Life uh, Podcast. Uh, well, uh, today we're out at the home of uh, the Zifa uh, acting uh, president, uh, that is uh, Keith Panda. He's invited us to to, meet, to his home here. Yeah, we were really eager to get him to answer some uh, certain questions. And uh, well, uh, uh, Keith, uh, welcome to the show. Mm-hmm. Thank you, uh, thank you, Mesuli. Uh, good morning, viewers. Well. I think a lot of uh, our viewers have uh, have seen there's a letter that has been circulating uh, uh, all over. There's alleged uh, siphoning of, uh, of of of, uh, of the two hundred thousand dollars sent by uh, by CAF to Zifa, and um, the, the, the 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 allegations are that, are, are, are that uh, already one hundred eight thousand has been uh, used. Uh, I mean, since you since you took over as acting president, and um, they they further claim that uh, uh, only eleven thousand has gone to our salaries uh, and um, ninety seven thousand ninety seven thousand or somewhere there that, that kind of figure you you can't you know, your board can't explain how that money was used uh, they even claim that uh, there's one Eddie Chimero, I think he's a friend of yours uh, he's benefited from that uh, from 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 some of those funds would really love to to hear the have you indeed used 108,000 and where is that money gone? Uh, thank you, Mr. Lee. Uh, uh, you know, some other time, uh, these uh, f- fictitious stories are there for people to laugh, laugh at. Um, it boggles the mind for a person to come and make such a very bold claim or for such kind of figures that they, they claim that has been used and used uh, putting the word siphoning. Uh, a person who siphons the money is a person who's uh, stealing the money, and we have never done that. Uh, we we are an upright body. Uh, we do our things above board. That's why I gave uh, you an opportunity to come so that we can talk about these particular issues. Um, to begin with, I think uh, it's uh, for uh, general knowledge that uh, uh, Zifa has to function and salaries need to be paid. And the batch of two salaries have been paid in the region of, I think, about 15,000 uh, per month. And uh, for two months, that goes over um, 30,000. If you remember, we went for an EGM. When uh, 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 we were not in 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 charge with the uh, Zifa accounts, and uh, the councillors got their uh, transport monies, the councillors got their allowances, and they were booked in hotels. They slept, and they were given monies to return back home. Uh, those monies were monies that were. Uh, borrowed and we return those money as soon as the accounts were opened so for people to come in and and say uh, people were siphoning monies uh, uh, on uh, 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 board meetings I think it's a uh, it's way off the mark uh, we we'll, we we'll, we'll traveled I've traveled to to Arari on several occasions before the accounts were opened without claiming any money from Zifa. And if I were to claim monies, I think I would claim quite a lot of monies. But I'm, I'm not into Zifa for, for, for money. Ours is to try and bring in proper reforms in football so that we, our football becomes uh, properly run. Uh, and I think even if you realize, even after uh, CAF have said stop using the money, we stop using the money, but the Zifa programs didn't stop because we believe what we're doing, we're doing things that are going to be beneficial to football. So we we are wondering where all this is coming from, but uh, we we know it's, 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 it's coming from the, the CEO who has got a very selective amnesia. Um, one, 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 one time he says he can't answer our questions because he's on 
um, his bail conditions doesn't allow him to. The next, he, he comes in with the host of care allegations that uh, he writes to FIFA um, uh, too, so that uh, uh, FIFA res uh, CAF responds in a manner that they've responded. But we'll deal with that at a later stage because we'll respond to the CAF letter, uh, which is very unfortunate uh, to say uh, the least. But in terms of siphoning the money, there's not uh, iota of truth in that because we have never done that. And uh, uh, we have said we believe in corporate governance. Uh, if powers that be think that uh, money is being misappropriated, they are very free to come in and what? And audit. I think uh, my, my my getting into football has been premised on uh, transparency. That's why we had uh, uh, problems and challenges uh, when I called for a forensic audit uh, uh, when I, uh, when we were elected in 2018. And I cannot be the one to call for a forensic audit uh, when I know that uh, my hands are not clean. I've got the keenest sense as far as uh, uh, the mother body is, is, is concerned. Uh, my hands are not in a cookie jar. The, 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 the part about Eddie Chibero, we really want is Eddie Chibero had even a cent from, from Zipa since he took charge. <laughs> uh, I, I, I challenge those who allege to prove it because Eddie Chibero has never benefited a single cent from the National Association. Uh, they are saying he flew to South Africa, uh, who, which is uh, far away from the truth, because Eddie Chivero never travelled to South Africa. Uh, the people who travelled to meet the Kosafa president was myself and uh, uh, the acting CEO called Sani Kosel. So for people to say Eddie Chivero is benefiting from uh, Zifa, I think uh, we challenge them to uh, the evidence that Tichibero has benefited uh, any money from uh, Zifa.